Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of Parker's Digital Revolution. This week we're going to be talking about camera... What the fuck? Anyways, this week we're going to be talking all about camera stabilizers. Camera stabilizers can help drastically improve your movies, turning them from amateur to professional. First, you need to know about the different types of camera stabilizers, and then you need to choose which one is right for your camera. Let's start on basics. The first type of camera stabilizer is a one-handled, one-shoulder... Oh, the first shoulder mount has one shoulder pad and one handle. Your camera sits up here. Although it's not as steady as a two-handled two-handled shoulder mount, it can do the trick. Next, we have the double-handled, double-shoulder padded uh, shoulder mount. And this one I made myself for about $20. It has a counterweight in the back, which counteracts the weight of the camera. The next type of stabilizer is a one-handled steady cam. Now what it basically does is you put your camera up here and weights down at the bottom so you can do smooth panning shots, up and down shots, you can even run with it and it'll still be smooth. Sometimes though, professional camera stabilizers can cost more than the camera itself, which is completely ridiculous. Girl, your steady cam price is ridiculous! Which made me automatically think that buying a shoulder mount or steady cam for my camera was a waste of money. I can't really tell you which stabilizer to get, or which one will suit you best. It's all up to you and your needs. So I've left a variety of camera stabilizers down below in the down bar. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the second episode. I hope it was a little bit more entertaining than last week's. Um, leave your comments and thoughts down below and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.